What's up guys, this is Frank M Tech here and I'm going to make a video or this video is going to end up being about engine flushes and why I don't do them. Alright, so let's get this done. What's up guys, this is Frank M Tech here. Alright, this video is going to be about engine flushes. Um, I don't believe in, in engine flushes. I don't do engine flushes. Uh, reason being, you can actually damage your motor. All right, guys. Um, basically, this video is gonna explain why, or my thoughts or my opinion on why I don't I don't do engine flushes here at the shop. I'm a shop owner. I, uh, customers come in here and ask me to do basically an engine flush, and I won't do it at all because it was recommended somewhere else, like a Jiffy Lube or Valvoline or this quick oil changing places around the way. All right, engine flush. Why do you think you need an engine flush? Or why people recommend an engine flush? All right, if you don't do your regular uh, maintenance oil changes like you're supposed to do, 6,000, 3,000 miles, uh, uh, 3,000 to 6,000 miles to do your oil changes and do your oil filter also. If you don't do it, if you skip, let's say, a couple thousand miles or you don't do it for a whole year, what end up happening, you burn a lot of oil. Not only that, your oil turns into sludge, meaning that it gets thick enough to a point where it can clog a lot of stuff like little uh, passages, oil passages that goes anywhere to the inside of the motor. All right, people, uh, let's say if when a customer comes in and says, I need an oil uh, engine flush, and his motor is completely sludged up, completely, I mean sludged to the point. All right, there is a chemical, uh, I think Preston or somebody else makes it. I'm not 100% sure because I, I don't deal with these products, so I should not know at all. So basically, there's a chemical in the bottom that you pour into a motor that has sludge or sludge buildup or some type inside the motor, whatnot. So you pour this oil or this chemical inside your engine. And that's supposed to break up the sludge and break up any hard buildup sludge or any burnt sludge that's actually built up inside the motor itself. You start it up, let it warm up for a little bit, don't take it for a drive. I think you let it sit for, or let it idle for like 15 minutes. Uh, soon as 15 minutes is up, you drain it and it's supposed to clean out everything. It flushes it out when you drain the oil. But in reality, how do I know that little bottle is enough or whatever bottle, however big is the bottle, how is it, how do I know is that enough for the engine? One. Two, how do I know if it's breaking up all the sludge or cleaning up all the motor? All right. Three, if it does not break up all the sludge and everything that's in the motor, where do that stuff go and where does it get stuck at? All right. And four, how do I know am I getting every single bit it out of my, um, how you can say, out of my filter and out of my oil pan? I do not know. Okay, how many times should I do it is another one. Okay, I don't know none of these things and I don't like unknowing. Okay, even though the back of the label may tell you how to do it and when to do it, how many times to do it, uh, depending on the, the, the situation. All right, one of my main concerns is if it doesn't break it up because how much stuff you're putting in there and how bad is your engine. If you, if, if the engine flush do not break everything up you loosen some of that stuff up and it goes into your engine you can block up passages oil passages that goes all over the motor you got the motor uh, you got the oil pump you got the main bearings you got the can on connecting rod bearings you know you got all this you know timing like timing chain timing tensioners which they the timing chain tensioners which there are basically the way they work is oil pressure Let's say you sludge it up, you put this flush, and not all of it, just bunches of pieces just break all over the place and then clog some of these passages up. Passages through the motor. One, the happening, you starve the engine for uh, oil on certain places. Let's say time and tensioner. You 
block up that blockage and slow it down a little bit and the flow of the or the pressure of the oil drops on the timing chain and what happens you throw off the slack on the timing chain jump chiming or even worse blow a motor because it's an interference motor let's say if it blocks the uh, passenger you go to the main bearing or crank bearing you're starving the crank bearing or connecting rod bearing and one that are happening you end up burning up the bearing and bearing uh burning up all the other stuff that goes with it crank um, connecting rod and kind of if you break a connecting rod it goes right through a block and goes kaput your engine goes done it's all done so that 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 is why um i don't do engine flushes all right um there's a lot of people may like it or do it you know for yeah you can say a lot of people may end up doing it which is fine that's up to you on um, that's your lobby your liability your car you can do whatever you want but i personally won't do it at all whatsoever for those reasons and um it's very scary to some people i can see people in valvoline and all these quick oil changing places jiff lubes and all that that actually do it your manufacturer your car manufacturer the people that build your car they do not recommend any type of oil engine flush whatsoever so if they don't recommend it, you shouldn't even be doing it at all. A lot of people out there do recommend it, which you shouldn't, okay? There is no safe way to flush an engine while it's still together. You have to take everything apart, clean everything manually, and that's the best way to do it. That's the only way to do it. To prevent most of that sludge and all that stuff, do your oil changes. Change your oil when they're supposed to change your filter when you're supposed to make sure you use the right filter make sure you use the right oil for your car all right no recycled oil no um, um cheap filters you know make sure you use all the proper equipment and uh, proper parts for your vehicles a proper fluid for your vehicle so you won't run into this problem all right if you don't if you do all those maintenance the way you're supposed to do it you do not need an oil flush period that's basically how that works okay guys that's all my recommendation to all you guys this is a video basically a lot of people may or may not agree with me may uh, not if you guys are definitely agree with me make sure you comment on the bottom if you guys don't agree with me comment on the bottom you know that's fine you know I would like to hear from everybody out there what you think about engine flush uh, me personally won't do it in my shop will not ever do it in my shop so that is that and this is why i made the video because uh i did have a customer ask to do an engine flush and i won't do it at all he got kind of mad but he you know like i don't want to damage this motor so guys anybody out there uh if you agree with me definitely give me a thumbs up on the video if you don't give me a thumbs down on the video that's perfectly fine there's no problem with that if you disagree to agree comment on the bottom comment on the bottom no matter what if uh you're new to this channel definitely subscribe and put the uh, uh, the notification bell so you can get alerts anytime I put a new video like this or other ones that I'm gonna be putting up soon so guys uh, hope you like the video hope you somewhat <laughs> in my uh, realm of uh, thoughts about the engine flash so alright guys see you on the next video so peace out bro